the array map method executes a given function on every element from an array and returns a new array. This sounds complicated, so let's see an example of how this works. We can, for example, call a function on this numbers array, which is an array of numbers from 1 to 5, and we can multiply all the numbers from the array. Let's see how we're going to do that. So map, and we need to provide a callback function as uh, we did for the for each method. So let's write it here, double for example, which takes in again three parameters, the current value, the index and the array. So let's have the value, the index and the array. Although we're not going to use the index and array in this example, but it's just for you to see that you can access it if you need it. So double, what we want to do here is to return value times two. So the value will be all the numbers from the array and we want to return double that number. We can take this and put it as a callback function on the map. Let's see what happens now with the numbers array. And look at that. The array is not changed. Why is that? Well, because the map function doesn't change the array which is called upon. It will create a new array and it will return it. So we can uh, create a new array numbers double, for example, and store that uh, return from the map. And now we can see numbers double will be all the numbers doubled. Let's also create a function, for example, where we're going to multiply the value by the index. So you can see that uh, the index is uh, working. Uh, multiply something like that, value, index, and array. And we're going to return value times index. Index first will be zero, then one, two, three, and four. And now let's pass in this as the callback function for the map. We can even remove this so it won't bother us. Let's leave this as numbers double, it's okay. Now you can see we get zero because zero times one is zero. Here we get two as two times one is two. Uh, two times three is six. This is 12 and this is 20. So that's perfect. All right, this is an interesting example. So let's work on some more realistic challenges. I'm going to swap this out with an array of objects. And here we're going to have an array of products. So let's give it a name of laptop, for example. We're going to have a price, 1000, and we're going to have a count. So how many laptops we want uh, in a store, for example. And we have five. Let's give another one, a desktop price, for example, 1500, and count will be two. And the last one name, phone, uh, price will be 500 and count will be 10. And now what we want is to see what is the value of the product. So for example, here we want to see uh, what's the total worth of all the laptops we have. We're going to, let's change this to products. And here we're going to change it to total products value or something like that. And now this function, let's remove it. And we can also uh, create an arrow function here, which will take in the value. Uh, or let's call it item. It's better. Okay. And what we want to return is the item dot price. Keep in mind that now the item is the object from the products array. And we want to return item price times item dot count. And now if we're going to console.log the total products value I forgot to change the numbers let's change this to products and let's uh, console.clear this all right and now you can see that we have 5000 here because we have five laptops worth 1000 we have 1500 times 2 which is 300 3000 and so on this is one example you can have you can go even further and here instead of returning the multiplication you can keep the name and add another property of total or something like that let's do that 
we're going to return an object like this. So we're returning a new object where the name will be the item that name. So we're keeping the name from the object and the total value will be uh, the multiplication of the price and the count. And now if we're saving this, we'll get an array of objects where we have the laptop, uh, we have the names and we have the total value, which is pretty cool. Or another interesting example on using the map function. Uh, let me remove this and clear everything. Console.clear. Okay, uh, we can convert an array of string numbers to an array of numbers. Let's see, numbers here, instead of having like one, two, three, four, we're going to have one, two, three, and four. This is something we might get from a function, for example, and we need to convert the array of strings into an array of numbers. And you can do that using the map. Uh, let's call this actually strings or str. And now numbers will be str times map. And we can pass in the number constructor, which will basically do something like, let's say we have item and we're calling number of item. So this is the same thing. Uh, we can just pass in number. And now if we console.log, numbers will get an array of numbers.